Welcome to another video on Keyclock Identity and Access Management System. Today I am talking about how to use Keyclock Admin REST API with Postman. Keyclock Admin REST API is provided by Keyclock to work on admin functionalities such as creating new users and clients. I am using Postman to invoke Keyclock REST API endpoints via HTTP calls. As the prerequisites, I have already run in Keyclock server on my machine. Also, I have already installed Postman application. First, I will show you the execution steps of my setup. As the first step, you need to obtain an access token from Keyclock by providing username and password of a valid user and client details. Once you obtain the access token, you can call the REST endpoints by adding the access token to the authorization header as a bearer token. According to this setup, in order to use Keyclock Admin REST API, I need to have an authorized user and an OpenID Connect client. For creating these two entities, I am moving to the Keyclock Admin console. You can see, now I am in the realm called Hexadefense. As the first step, I am going to create an OpenID Connect client. For doing that, I am visiting to the clients page. I create new client. I provide the name as REST client. Click save. Access type is already set to public. Since access type is public, I do not need to send client secret for retrieving the token. I disable the standard flow and enable the direct access grant. I save the client. We are done with the client. Now I am going to create a privileged user. For that, I am moving to the users page. I am going to create a new user. I brought the username as Hexa. I am saving the user and set the password as well. I am setting the same password as username. It is Hexa. Now the user is created and password is also added. But just having a user is not enough to use the REST API. For that, this user should have enough privileges to use this API. Now I am going to assign required privileges to this user through client roles of the real management client. For that, I am going to the roles mapping tab. Here I select the real management client. Here you can see many roles are available on the left side. I provide the real admin role to this user. As you can see here, all the roles were assigned to this user because real admin is a very powerful role. Also it is a composite role. It contains all the other roles. Now this user can execute any admin operation via the REST API. Here I assign the admin role since this is a demonstration. But if you are assigning roles in a production or a staging environment, you should be careful only to assign the required roles to the user. Otherwise it would make your application highly vulnerable. I am done with role assigning and now I am moving to the Postman application in order to use the REST API. Before that, I will show you the endpoints provided by Keyclock to obtain the access token and list uses of the Keyclock realm. Here you can see the endpoints. The first URL is used to obtain the access token from Keyclock. By using the second URL, you can list the uses of a realm. For this example, I will be using this URL for demonstration. In addition to that, all the available REST endpoints can be seen through the provider link. Now I am in the Postman application. First, you need to create a request to obtain the access token. Here I have already set up that. You can see this is the URL. 
realm name is hexadefense and the url type is post in the post body i have added four attributes as username password grant type and client id username and password are the attributes of the user we just created grant type is password and the client id is the client's name we created few minutes ago now i am sending this request okay status is 200 that means okay here you can see the response here you can see the access token and refresh token both but here i only need the access token i copy this value now i can invoke a rest endpoint using this token this is the request used to list users of a given realm again here i have added the realm as hexadefense and http method is get uh, one special thing you need to keep in mind you need to add an authorization header in order to invoke this rest endpoint therefore you need to go to the authorization tab and select the Beara token type i have already selected that you need to paste your access token here now i click the send button i got the result here you can see the available users of this hexa defense realm at the moment there are only two users as hexa and another test user like this you can invoke any rest endpoint using this access token you can refer to keylog documentation about rest api to know about more endpoints and their details so this is what i wanted to show you in this video if you have any question or suggestion please put them in the comment area See you in the next video. Thank you very much.